everyone. Lori Marie here, Mixed Media Artist in Vallejo, California. This is my second video for today. The first one, I was the chemist. Texture paste and rusting things, which was so much fun. And then the second one, uh, working on the last page in this altered book. So the next video you see, you will be seeing the complete book. And then the next video, we will be starting a brand new book together. So that'll be exciting. I'm looking forward to that. We're going to go um, right from the basics to the end together on a book. So see you on the table. Okay, here's our project for today. This is the last page, I believe, in this altered book. I used the texture paste and a sewing pattern some colors in the background with different underpants and this is magnetized oh Lori Marie you're awesome and there she is holding some flowers or a star or a bottle cap with a little magnet there so that's today's project okay let me start off by saying I have cleaned my studio Really? <laughs> I have a floor. I have a workspace. I have clean paper down for you. It's incredible. All right, let's talk about the supplies that we're going to need today. Not in any particular order, of course. I have a piece of cardboard. You know that I use the uh, pieces from wine boxes. I have my book. I'm working on the uh, back portion of the book. I believe this is my last page. So I have it hoisted up with a big dictionary to keep it kind of flat. So we'll see how that works. I have texture paste, freshly made this morning. Some sewing pattern, I may use that. My palette knife for my texture paste. I have a fun stencil with words on it that we're gonna attempt to use. I have two pages out of, uh, oh, three pages out of another book. I'm going to glue those together and those will go on that page. I have some uh, book text underpants. And I have more of those. <laughs> and then I have just some colorful images that I just ripped out uh, with my ruler. Uh, nothing in particular. I was just looking for some color. I have three acrylic paints. I'm actually going to uh, grab my varnish to go with those to um, dilute those a little bit without affecting the integrity. So I'm going to set the book aside and we're going to start working on the three pages out of a book. Now these pages are a little bit big for my book but that's okay, it's a great place to start. You know that you'll need your Stabilo, and you know that you'll need your brush, and your Mod Podge. Those are pretty much, on a daily basis, a given. So here's my oh, Mod Podge. I'm trying to keep my paper towel closer so I don't have to reach across the screen all the time. And I'm just going to glue those three pages together for stability. And I'm actually going to work right on these three pages. Oh, look at there. Okay, bye bye. Can't have everything, right? When the books are old, they're so fragile. Just have to embrace what happens with them. Oh, I'm going to grab a um, credit card too, because I want to smoosh the paint around with the credit card. And, oh, come on. Don't glue down. There we go. Uh, since this is uh, such gorgeous old book page, I'm going to forego these book 
texts the underpants. We're going to just say that this has the underpants right on it. Delicious. All right, let me grab that varnish. Right, this is the varnish that I use. It's a Deco Art Americana DuraClean Ultra Matte. I like matte. <laughs> and Matt likes me. <laughs> oh dear. I don't like real shiny, so I stick with the matte um, Mod Podge, and I stick with the matte everything, actually. That's why I sand a lot of my pieces, is because I don't care for the real shiny finish. All right, so I'm just going to mix this up right on the page. Well, here goes my nice clean white surface. Bye bye. Hope you enjoyed it, because it's all <laughs> all gone now. Maybe that's why I don't use white. All right, I am going to dry this. Not quite dry. Dry enough for this girl. So I'm going to be taking some of the colorful underpants now. And I'm just going to put them sporadically on the piece. Now this is really a great time if you are willing to put it every which way. That would be wonderful. You know me. For some reason those underpants need to be straight. So I'm going over the edge right now, just because I want a portion of that. Or not all of it, same thing on here. A little bit of wrinkling. I embrace the wrinkles. It's okay. All right, I'm gonna let that dry, tear off this section. Okay, you can tell when the Mod Podge is dry because it's clear. There's a little milky spot here, milky spot there, a little bit there, there. I'm okay with that. I'm just going to tear these pieces off willy-nilly. Sounds like we might be getting some more texture on that other side. Embrace the texture. Oh no, we didn't. All right, so our second coat of paint. We're going to go with the ever-trustworthy ochre. Boy, you'd think I hadn't opened these up for years. And some varnish. And a gift card. Just mix it up right on the page. It's fun. Mm. Yes, please. Yeah, malicious. All right, it's got to dry. We can go on with the next adventure. Now you know you can always use your heat stick um, to dry your pieces as long as you do not get too close to your piece. I'm looking for my ruler. Um, because if you get too close, it will bubble. And I don't know about you, but that is not what I'm looking for. Oh, look, that's. Oh. It's cut crooked. Oh, it's kind of at an angle. 
I hope I can sleep tonight. All right, we are just putting another colorful layer on. So we have the book page, one color, some fun, colorful magazine pieces, which they are still underpants, still working on underpants, with a layer of acrylic. Page, acrylic. Uh, colorful pieces, acrylic and colorful pieces. Very fun. Now I chose a light blue for the last layer. Just not sure. I think I want something a little bit more intense. I would like a turquoise. Of course I would like a turquoise. Of course I would. So let me see what I can find. All right, I have turquoise, but just in the craft paint. I don't have any in the heavy acrylic. So I am not gonna add varnish to this. I am just going to put the acrylic down and then smear it. Perfect. Beautiful colors. <laughs> of course they're beautiful colors. They're my palette. What am I saying? All right. Let this dry. You can see some texture coming up. Love that. Right? Okay, dry time. All right, this is all nice and dry. This is probably the most important time for this to be dry. My workspace, maybe not so much, but that doesn't matter. All right, I'm gonna bring the book back in because I want this page to pretty much fill that, but not hang over too much. So if I go there, Well, it's about right there. Okay. We're looking for perfection here anyway, right? So if I go here, I don't want the white edge to show. So we are going to be tearing it this way in high hopes, right? We'll see. It's kind of hard to say because it's layers here so we'll well it looks like we got away with no white layer a little bit not bad all right this can be saved for something else because that's gorgeous all right village let's move forward i am grabbing my palette knife and my texture paste and my stencil and if I had a good luck charm, I would grab that as well. Because these are itty bitty letters. And I want, I want to see if it'll work. Brand new texture paste. If you haven't made the homemade texture paste, you must because it dries nicely. Oh, it looks like I'm on crooked. <laughs> Shocking. It dries quickly. It dries hard as cement so you can sand it, which you all know is one of my favorite things to do. I like to rough it up. Okay, let's be quiet and just listen. Oh, but we want to see.
Fingers crossed. Let's see what we did. I don't care if you can't read it. I just want letters. All right. One, two, three. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. And I'm just going to put this down here. And we're going to fill in the blank down here. I might be sorry I didn't wash it in between, but I might not be sorry at all. <laughs> well, there's that tummy growling. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh my gosh, gang. That's fun already. Love that. All right, I am going to clean everything up and walk Mr. Patient Hudson. So Hudson got his walk. It's a glorious day. I'm going to take my sanding block and just knock the tops off this. take my sewing pattern, take a piece of the sewing pattern, just rip it, it has a straight edge which I'm not too crazy about. Okay, and I'm just going to glue this down with Mod Podge. This is all acrylic on here this time, so we don't have to worry about the, uh, the color moving because there's nothing on here that will move. So I'm just going to apply the Mod Podge right to the piece. Not even sure where exactly the sewing pattern is going to go, so I'm just going to go ahead and cover the whole thing. What you see me doing is just really pushing it down around those letters. Not too particular, but if it can go around the letters, that would be nice. And yes, we need to let it dry. Okay, <laughs> now it's just going to get wacky. Tear some of that off. Come on. I don't care. If some of it stays on there. That is just fine. All right. So there's our page. I found this photo. What I'm going to do is I am going to have her hold this bottle cap, which means I need to pop a hole in the bottle cap with my crocodile. Okay, I'm going to use the biggest hole, go toward the center. <laughs> I'm not going to say, oh, I'm so sorry, I forget that it moves that table so much. Okay, so I have a hole near the center. Now I have these grommets that have a front and a back. So I'm hoping that will hold that better. Let's see where this is going to be on her. I want it between her hands so it looks like she's holding that. Just go in that hole. All right, hang on everybody. Not bad, not bad. All right, now I'm going to put that grommet in. And this part of the grommet actually goes on the crocodile 
on the installer part. So get on there. All right, so I used the grommet installer. Oh, I got little sneezes going on here. So sorry. Uh, the grommet front and the grommet back. Okay, it's a little loose. I'm okay with that. Um, what we're going to do is bring this guy back in. No, not yet. Where is our piece of cardboard, our precious cardboard? Here it is. Hang on, everybody. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is cut a piece of cardboard the same size as her. Boy, oh boy, you'd think I had a plan. I do not know. Don't know if this will work or not, but we're certainly going to give it a try. I'm going to turn her over just in case I make a line on her. Do not want to. Okay. Now, with my ruler and my X-Acto, I'm just going to cut this cardboard. So I just lay my ruler on that line. Whoop. <laughs> This is great cardboard. If you can get your hands on some wine boxes, just the inserts of the wine boxes. Magnificent. Very sturdy. be about the same size as her. Great. And I'm going to place this on the back here. And draw a line. Maybe going a little bit more. I'm drawing this line, but I'm not actually going to use this line. I'm going to go smaller than this line. But this is my template for how big she is. So we'll go in a little bit. I love how straight my lines are. Don't you? We're going to go in about right there. And about right there. And right always make it bigger, can't make it smaller, right? Okay, I'm going to cut this inside line <clears throat> with my X-Acto, keeping in mind that there's a precious piece of artwork on the other side. Oops. 
Don't tear, don't tear, never tear. Make sure you cut. You will be sorry. <clears throat> All right, let's see her in here. That is gorgeous. Dictionary back in to hoist it up. All right, before we do that, we are going to talk about what we're going to do with this piece. Okay, are you guys uh, sitting on the edges of your seats? Oh, I'm jumping ahead without you. Uh, so, this is the window that I cut out from the, um, from the piece that we were working on. All right, and I cut a piece of cardboard, which was just the edge of that, luckily. So there's a piece of cardboard here that's going to fit that, which is just lovely. Now, what I need to do is I need some kind of a handle on this. So I am going to pop a hole. I'm just going to pop a small hole this time right in the center of that door. It's becoming a door now. Okay, so I'm gonna pop this right through that hole. Nice rusty little doorknob. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that, that's great. And what I'm gonna do now is glue that to that cardboard. And I'm just gonna use the Mod Podge how I lost my paper towel. I must have really jazzed it up. All right, so I'm going to put some Mod Podge on here. I'm going to conceal the back part of that brad by putting those two pieces together. Well, I'm just going to grab an old book page, glue it on the back of that. Oh, or shall we do this? Oh, maybe do that. All right, let me grab something. All right, I have this fun old sort of a map thing laying around. What the heck is she doing now, huh? Is it handsome hubby time? Not quite yet. All right, as that dries, which we may or may not use this, I don't know. Don't know. We will bring back our woman, woman and glue her in her spot. She's an actual photo, which I don't frequently use actual photos. But I'm using her. Not that she's not worth copying. You're worth copying. But we're not going to do that today. We're just going to use the original. And place her down. And then check on the other side for placement. Perfect. 
All right. Lori Marie has an idea. Yikes. All right, now I'll bring the dictionary back in because I need to hoist that book up to work on it. This is the zipper page. We played with that. All right, now I'm going to add some Mod Podge to this page because this is the page that we are gluing onto. Man, there we go. I'm bad today. Bad, bad, bad today. Working more toward me than you. All right. Let's bring her back in. Alligator clips to the rescue. And I'm just going to clip her down. Okay, now to keep her flat, I have the alligator clips on here, but uh, go ahead and sit on it. Ah, uh, just kidding. <laughs> Can you imagine sitting on this now? Yikes. All right, well, we're going to let her adhere. She will nicely because it's book page to book page, and the Mod Podge loves that. So this, this will glue down nicely. Not too concerned about that. Okay, I have this itty bitty magnet. Okay, I'm going to put the magnet on the top of that bottle cap. Might need two, we shall see. We shall see. All right. Let's see. Oh, okay. Well, we know where it goes. Let go. <laughs> so I'm going to assume that it's going to be about there. Maybe a little lower. All right. We're going to let that dry. All right. I'm going to take the alligator clips off. It doesn't take very long for it to dry. My workspace, it keeps getting smaller and smaller. Started off quite clean this morning. All right, let's bring that Stabilo in, shall we? That's a new Stabilo. Let's play with a new one. And I'm just going to go around the edges. My spit and smudge. So I'll go around the edges here, and then I'll go around the, the edges of the uh, window as well, just to give it a nice smoky finish. Let's do the last little bit together. It's always magical to watch. Hang on to your stomachs. Watch what happens with the stabilo. I think. Beautiful. 
pretty full. All right, how's our door doing, huh? Hang on to your stomachs. Here we go. Round and round. What a silly, fun idea. So our uh, tacky glue is far from dry. So we're just going to have to be patient and let that dry. Oh, I can stabilize the back, right? When in doubt, Stabilo does on just like a raw old book page. The Stabilo acts differently on Mod Podge, on acrylic, on watercolor, on raw pages. And then this side needs to be Stabilo but I'm not doing that until it's dry. We could use some alligator clips on that. Okay, we'll do it. So I'm just putting some alligator clips on the side here, also on this side here, where it's, uh, it has the Mod Podge. It's trying to stick, but it's pulling away from itself. So I'm just gonna put some alligator clips on there. Then let it dry. All right, it's almost dry. I'm going to stabilo this. I can do it right on here. Make sure I'm not knocking that off because that would be just like me to do that. Test run. Mm -hmm. Just as I suspected. We need a hinge up here. Oh yeah. Let me find a hinge. Boy, one thing just leads to another, doesn't it? I have a hinge. So I'm going to put some tacky glue right on the top of this. Make sure I got my door right side up. We will wipe away the excess. Had some hubby's on his way home. He just texted. All right. Looks like two eyeballs, huh? And I'm trying to do this on screen without moving the book off screen. Why? I don't know. I don't know. All right. So that is going to work. Let me just take this off and wipe this. Good enough. We're after grungy, right? Well, I have some grungy hands, so it's going to be just perfect. All right, so that's going to be there. Oh, look at that. That's so fun. <laughs> Interactive book? Yes, please. All right, so I'm going to put some tacky glue here. And this one I will hold down with a alligator clip clamp there we go that's 
not what I want to happen. I want this to, there we go. that down. All right, when I push that down, what happens here? All right, do we need to go up a little bit? There. Does it have to go the other way? All right, I'm bringing you along with me here. This side works. The side on the door works. But there's not enough... Uh, height under this one for this one to work. So we're going to lift that up a little bit. We will bring the stabilo in when it's time again. And then now, I should probably not have that upside down though, because that will bother me, believe it or not. All right, that's good. We'll put some tacky glue up here for that top of the hinge to, if I didn't set my tacky glue down like that, it wouldn't have that problem. All right, and then that's going to go down. That's good. Everybody's good. You know I'm okay with that being grungy like that. Let's see what we've done to this poor magnet. Oh, we're still good? We are still good. All right. I'm going to put an alligator clamp on this. Hold everything steady. Right here, I think. Beautiful. Oh, that's way fun. Don't you think that's way fun? Do we have enough glue? I believe we do. And this, I don't want to lift this up because <laughs> the uh, magnet isn't glued tight yet, but it is stuck to the, the bottle cap. That is so fun. Let me just scooch that up. You can see the whole thing. I've been working close to the vest today. I apologize, but we got her done. Can I? Yeah, I'm just going to put a little bit more tacky glue in there just to have it bubble through those holes because that really holds it well when it bubbles through. Ta da! All right. Should we open it? Oh. Yes, we shall. Look at there. So good. All right. There. <laughs> if I'd stop fiddling, we'd be better off. All right. So here's your project for today. All right. Go create. Go play. Go have fun.